I met today's uh, uh, guest, uh, Raphael. I don't I think I met him. Uh, I'd heard of him around 2019, maybe 2020. Uh, but it was in 2020 where I really first got to know him. The guys over at PickFu actually came to me and said, hey, we, we're going to run this contest uh, with uh, like four different agencies. And we want to feature your product. And at that time, I was doing uh, hand sanitizers, a, com- uh, a company called GermShark. And I said, I'm sure. I said, they, they said, these guys are going to compete. They're going to create uh, videos. They're going to create images. They're going to create uh, A-plus content. And then you get to go through it all, Kevin. You get to decide which one you like the best. And then it's up to you whether you want to uh, go with them and pay them or, or not, if you if you like it enough. And so uh, Raphael's company, uh, uh, Sherrod Studio, was one of the winners. There was two, two companies that actually kind of came close, uh, real close to each other. And one of them, I liked one of their things, and then one of them, I liked the other thing. But uh, Sherrod Studio did the best job overall, and they ended up creating a, a really uh, kick-ass video for us uh, and a whole bunch of really cool content. So that's where I got to know him. And then I've, I've met him at some conferences. Uh, and, you know, this guy, his background wasn't necessarily an Amazon seller. He was a three-time Telly Award-winning marketer and filmmaker. And then he decided to go out on his own, and he saw this need in the Amazon space where there's just not a, a lot of good agencies creating good good uh, imagery and video content. So in 2018, he founded Share It Studio. And as a marketing, Amazon-specific marketing agency, now they do a few things that's not Amazon, but they – they focus on Amazon, and it's they really want to set themselves apart by not just saying, okay, we'll create some pretty pictures, and we'll make some nice videos, but it's data-driven. So they're actually looking at the data, looking at, at what it is that they actually need to do, what are the trigger points that are going to make people buy, not just create a beautiful video that looks great, but what, what can they say, what can they do, uh, what about those first three seconds, and just create a really custom bespoke package uh, of creative services just for Amazon sellers on the Amazon platform, um, they look at everything from they do everything from PPC videos, premium A plus content, images, branding, and a whole lot more. And they're really good at what they're doing. So Raphael's going to be coming on in just a minute and sharing us uh, today specifically on package inserts. Now, before I bring him on, I want to talk about package inserts for just a second because there's a lot of what I believe misinformation out there when it comes to package inserts. There's a lot of people that say you should not use package inserts on Amazon. You will hear that on Facebook groups. You will hear that from some of the the uh, the people that help fight against Amazon. Um, they say don't use package inserts. Don't do it. You're putting yourself at risk. I 1,000% disagree with that. 1,000% disagree with that. I think there are certain things that you should not do on a package insert. Those anything you know, people say, well, you can't direct traffic off of Amazon. BS. Yes, you can. Um, what you cannot do is put your packets injured or your URL. If you read the terms of service carefully, Amazon says you cannot direct traffic off of Amazon, but that's on Amazon. That means that don't put your URL in your product photos. Don't put something in, don't email, you know, using the customer follow-up, uh, something to take them off of Amazon. Anything on the Amazon platform in, in imagery or text, you cannot send them off of Amazon to do something. That is against the rules. But when, in, when it comes to your package insert, all the big brands, you look at Sony, look at and any of the big brands, they have package inserts for warranty registrations, for uh, accessories, for different things. It's totally fine in my opinion. But there is a line you have to draw, and this is where a lot of people get in trouble. And some people don't understand where that line is. You cannot do anything to influence reviews on Amazon. And that means uh, in, in the old days, people would say, please leave us a five-star review, click here, and they would take you, take you to the review page. You can't do that. You can't put a smile in five stars. Five stars is a kind of a, a trademark icon of Amazon that kind of indicates give us five stars. You can't do that. You can't say something like, um, if you have pro- a, a trouble with this product, please email us. Don't contact the buyer. Don't contact the don't t- contact Amazon or contact where you bought it. If you have trouble, contact us. Otherwise, please leave us a review on Amazon. That's directing negative traffic to you. Even though that's a good thing to do, you want to take care of the situation. That's indirectly directing negative um, uh, negative remarks that might have been a bad review to you. There's other ways to say that. You can say something like, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Something like that that has no, no indication of if there's a problem or there's something wrong, we want to fix it. And I understand you're trying to steer bad things away and you're trying to be good, but that can be seen as, as, as a negative. Or what happens a lot of times is people will have some sort of innocent uh, 
uh, package insert, and then they will they will send that send it to a warranty page or some sort of registration page, and then in the follow up sequence, so everything is clean, but in the follow up sequence, there's something that's a little gray or shady, and that's where people get into trouble too. So, but if you're doing package inserts right, uh, and I think you're totally fine, and there is a way to do them. So, you know, I get a lot of Amazon packages, and a lot of times I throw the package inserts out. I mean, it's one of the first things I, I used to look at them to see what other people were doing. But now, obviously, I probably get 20 Amazon packages a week. I probably look at one package insert. And that's what Raphael is going to show you today is some ways to make sure that, that yours is the one that I'm looking at. And there's a reason that I only look at one is because most of them suck. They're little business cards or they don't have good graphics or they don't catch my attention or they're buried in the package in the wrong place. There's a whole number of reasons um, that I don't look at them or there's no value to looking at it, it's just a bunch of text or... Uh, they all look the same. There's ways to stand out. And I use a package insert and my cal- my calendar business is one example that I like to give. And what I do is I put a four, a four by six card in there and I say, congratulations, you've won a free calendar. That's what the package insert says. And what that package insert then um, says, what because I'm selling calendars, calendars are like selling milk. They go bad. So right now we're in May of 2024. Most people don't want to pay full price for a 2024 calendar. The year started five months ago. So it's hard to sell them. So if I have extra calendars left over, I got to get rid of them. I can throw them away. I can uh, dis- I can donate them somewhere. I can try to liquidate them. But what I do is I use my extra calendars as a premium. And so I say, congratulations, you've won a free calendar. Just pay $10 shipping and handling. And you can go to my website and it's got the URL out there and enter this code to get the calendar for $10. Or I, you can send a check or money order in the mail. A lot of people send checks or money orders in a physical envelope in the mail to my post office box. And then I, I give them a random calendar. It might be the calendar they just bought on Amazon. Uh, they don't get to pick the calendar. It's my extras. And I tell them, you might get, I tell them that you might get one you already have. If so, it makes a great gift for a friend or a colleague. Uh, or you could put one in the garage and one in the, house, in the office or, or whatever. Uh, and it works really well. And I get a lot of leads that way. What do I do with those leads? The next year, I've I've got 17,000 people on this list. The next year when my calendars come out, calendars are pretty much bought between Jan, uh, between November, mid-November and mid-January. That's the big two months that most of the sales happen. You're selling 400, 500, 600 a day of some titles. But in September, people aren't really thinking about 2024 like last year. So they're buying like two or three calendars a day. But that's where I I, get, I use my list and I send them out. And e- if I have their email, I send an email. And I also send a physical postcard through the mail to them and says, hey, the new calendars for 2024, or, or in this case, coming up 2025, are out. Uh, you can buy them directly from me and pay $9.95 shipping and handling. Or you can go to Amazon if you're a Prime member and buy them on Amazon and get free shipping. And what, what does that do? It allows me to launch my product completely with no PPC, no launches, no having to do Vine reviews, no nothing. Because people go and I have four different titles. And a lot of them, they buy all four. So that gets them in the frequently bought together. So they, and then they also buy other calendars. So they might buy a, you know, a, a, a motorcycle calendar or something like that. So then I start showing up on these motorcycle calendars as customers who looked at this or viewed this or those sections. And I started this flywheel going. And I'm selling two or three a day in September but by, and I just ride that wave all the way up and I do zero PPC for these calendars. I do zero launch and that's the power of a package insert. And then I, I can sell these guys other calendars that are not available on Amazon. I do it for my dog products with a dog sample packs. I do it with a, a lot of things, but and nowhere in there and no, my emails, nowhere do I ever ask for a review. Do I ever indicate five stars? Do I ever indicate anything that's manipulating the system? It's all above board. And I've been doing this for 20 years. And it, it, there's there's nothing wrong with it. So that's where the gray area is. And usually if you dig deep and someone says, I got in trouble for package inserts, I didn't do anything, look deep on into their, their package insert or into their funnel. And you're probably going to see that there is something that's a little on the edge there. So if you keep your nose clean and do this right, it can be powerful. And so Raphael is going to come on right now and, he, and he's going to spend some time showing you some really cool ways to actually do package inserts. Hey, Raphael, how you doing, man? How's it going, man? Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It's an honor. Appreciate you coming on and doing this, man. This is going to be great. I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing what you got, learning a few things hey, myself, no. hopefully. Uh, I doubt that, but let's let's see, man. Let's see. You never know. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You never know. Um, all right. So should we get started? Yeah, I'm going to turn this over to you. Uh, looking forward to it. Good luck. All right. Thanks, brother.
All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your time. Uh, as Kevin mentioned, I am the founder and um, CEO of Share Studio. Actually, my, my background uh, was in law. I went to law school. I did four years of law school in Venezuela. Um, and then I went to make because I ended law. So uh, that's like a, a really little fun fact. Um, and then I started working. I graduated from filmmaking. I started filmmaking. I'm New York, etc. cetera. I worked in a lot of companies, CNN, uh, Lodian, and then in 2018, I was working for Nickelodeon and I decided to quit because I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted to get out of that rat race, which I think, you know, a lot of us uh, maybe were there and we wanted to escape. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. So this is a little bit of what we do at Share Studio. I just wanted to give you a glimpse. I, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to give you a glimpse of what we do. So we only focus on creating content. Why? I feel like a, a jack of all trades is a master of none. We like to specialize in one thing, one thing only. And anything that has to do with visual and visually enticing or visually manipulated, you could say a little bit, that, um, that buy or that version. So anything that has to do with videos, um, listings, etc. Okay. Yeah. What are product inserts? You can read this. I know you can, but in my own words, it's some, it, it's, it's a way to give the customer more experience, right? To give them more value. The more value you give, the more value you return. So it's a powerful tool, obviously, to enhance the customer's experience. You can request feedback. You can promote your purchases. All going to depend on the product itself. So the same thing, you have a product insert for a supplement, for a hand sanitizer, then for a garlic press, for example. Those are consumable, so you can repeat them. The garlic press, you can probably buy one when it breaks, but if it breaks too fast, it means the bad quality garlic press, right? So it depending on your product, I would say try to steer and try to analyze and strategize that product insert, okay? All right, let's keep going. So dues, some basic dues, deliver value. Um, this is like just a general thing in life. Uh, let's take it out of out of this realm. Let's go into newsletters. Um, I don't read news. I find newsletters actually very boring eh? or they're all the same, but I came across, uh, and I've been trying to plug this in the way, but I came across one uh, a few months ago, which is Kevin King's newsletter, right? The billion dollar newsletter. And there's so much value that I actually enjoy reading, but it's because it's given me value, like a bunch of value. If, if it wouldn't give me value, I just would, you know, discard it, um, archive it or read it or delete it, except so make sure to del you deliver value, the most important asset. If you do not deliver value, you're not going to get anything in return. Okay. So some ways you can deliver value, additional usage guidelines, care recommendations, general insights, coupons, um, experience. There's a lot, a lot of ways, right? Make sure you maintain for informativeness, meaning that you are, you know, talking about your products advantages or attributes of the product that's the end of the product again these are all dependent on the product that you have it's gonna it's not a, a one like a cookie cutter it's not a cookie cutter template it's more of a what do i have what fit into this mold type of situation from my my experience um encourage reviews you want to stay you want to avoid a hundred percent encouraging any positive reviews or avoiding getting or, or encouraging avoidance of getting negative reviews like Kevin said in the beginning that goes against Amazon's TOS and just like the tax man the Amazon man is always got is also going to find out some points right okay? so I would say steer away from that um, so politely solicit feedback from the customers uh, as simple as your feedback matters could help um then support again it depends on the product but extend support if it maybe it's a product that it costs I don't know a hundred most likely, if that product is a little bit faulty or people don't understand it because it's hard to assemble or something, you can, you know, extend support. Maybe a, maybe a video, maybe a, a hotline, maybe an email, I don't know. Something that gives them support. Um, Cross-selling. If your product, you can match it with other products. For example, I'm going to show you an example in a bit of, of a baby product. But let's say you sell in the baby category. And there's a lock and you're selling a lock um, securing mechanism for the door for babies, right? And you can also cross promote the um, the outlet detector for babies. So you know you you kill uh, tumors with one stone. Don't avoid soliciting positive reviews, guys. Do not do that. That's like 
bad, bad, bad. Uh, refrain from cherry picking with viewers, such as what Kevin said, like, hey, if you if you're having a bad experience, you know, come back and and um, we can help you before you leave a bad review. That the no no. Um, steer steer clear um, from from links, like Kevin said. Amazon wants everything in their ecosystems. What I've seen recently, though, is that they send them to a landing page, but the payment processing takes them directly back to the Amazon page. So what does that mean? That means that from the product insert, it takes you to a landing page. You gather data from there, like uh, your pixels, uh, the the Facebook pixel, the, well, that's not Facebook anymore, the meta, meta pixel, et cetera. Now you have marketing data from there. And then it redirects them back to Amazon. I've seen that recently. Um, eliminate misleading information, you know, false presentations, exaggerated claims, deceptive details. You want to be as transparent as possible and as truthful as possible. Remember, giving value is about, it's about being real, maintaining real, you know, and abstain from manipulation. Definitely saying abstain from manipulation because that also you're trying to cherry pick that review, okay? And avoid interfering with packaging. This is more on your anh chị đang bán hàng trên Amazon, Skybox cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi. Vì đăng ký brand với USPTO, từ Helen Ten, từ trên Google Scout, lưu kích thích và Warehouse. Xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé. Brand, you don't want to have a package that's really hard to open because of the product insert, um, because it's not going to give value to the customer experience. And customer experience is everything. Alright, um, so it's a simple thank you. Enough. Um, it could be, but you know, it's there's not more. So basically, you're wasting your money. Um, so if you want to win and if you want to actually get results, you should definitely take action. So things you should include in your insert cards. Things I would include, which included with our clients, is warranties, how-to guides, how to take care of the product, benefits of the product, guidelines. But it's gonna depend again on the product. I want to make sure that everybody understands. It depends on your product, right? But in summary, if you want to, if you if you want to get value, you should give, right? That rule of thumb in life, actually, we should all give value in life so we can get something valuable. So, type of products, inserts, or strategy. All right. So, review hunting. That's like the most basic one, right? You want to get reviews. The most reviews you get, better. I'm gonna show you some examples. Store. Uh, you can put up a QR code and ask for for feedback. Uh, you can use a joke, for example. Um, and so you put the joke and then you put the the answer. Uh, Kevin usually actually does this. He puts um, stump bases on the the beginning of the of the email email newsletter, and then at the end he gives you the answer. This allows him this this you know allows that you redraw the whole thing and then you have a reward at the end, which is you know kind of cool. Something like this. You give them a joke or, or a riddle or something. And then you put it um, in another way that I'll show you the answer. And then you politely ask, you know, you're giving value a little bit, you're eating them to pour it, right? So, for example, for this one, this is plainly emotional. Hey, scan this QR code and speak your mind. That's, that's it. I just want your feedback. Um, and your feedback means the world to us. Very important. Like you're being sincere. Don't be as sincere as possible. This is some of the the content we did for this seller, we also did the, the, his packaging and he inserted it. And also, you added more value. He started a lead generate. So, if you want uh, uh, to, you know, watch this video, so to install this, watch this video, right? So, you, you scan this QR code and it's going to take you to a... So, I we changed the QR code because we don't want you to, to see the, our customers' um, things or because of, you know, privacy. But... Basically, it takes you to a landing page. It asks you for your email to unlock or to send that to send the link of the of the, the video to that email. So right there, you're getting more, more information. A simple joke is cool. So what type of candy is never on time? Chocolate late. Get it? <laughs> they know so. <laughs> Chat GPT helps help us with that, by the way. Um. So yeah. So after they peel it, okay, and then hey, since we're here, share your experience with our cut with our candies. And then this kind of your code, you know, you're asking for, All right? This is for a uh, sticker. And another type of strategy is repurchase market. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can add custom coupons and you can add also cross-selling. So a coupon is, you'll, 
we all know what, it, well, we, maybe there's new restaurants here. Coupon is just basically a way that you give them something, a discount or yeah, a discount for, for the next purchase or a new purchase or something. And cross-selling or to be even a external coupon. And cross-selling is when you promote something, uh, another product, okay, based on that product that at least simulates or, or, or in some way it, it connects with the main product that they just bought. So, for example, this is the example I'm going to give you. Um, it, a baby clear outlet plug, right? And the baby toilet plug. Well, welcome to Parenthood. Since you bought this, we want to help you. Here's more things that you can get, and you're going to get these products. You head to the storefronts, and you get some offers from those stuff. Boom. So, you, you're, they're buying this, but they're also, oh, these guys also sell this. Because maybe when they get this in there, uh, through their Amazon, they're like, oh, I also need this, you know? So, you're trust promoting that seller. Okay, so list building. It's extremely important as well. Uh, as we all know, Amazon is their own ecosystem and they are the, they have the last thing in everything. So like Kevin was saying about his, um, his calendars, doesn't matter if he sells them on Amazon or not, he has a list. So Kevin can doesn't even need PPC because he has a whole list already. So that's one of the things that you should be doing, list building, okay? So basically just you know, as a gift, you can create a strategy number one as a gift. Basically, you create a lead magnet from your website or app. And you just tell the customer, like, hey, um, you want this? We need this in return. And they give you this, which is this. Well, you can ask for several thousand of information, uh, email, phone number, etc. Or strategy two, a newsletter. You know, create a newsletter with interesting content. Promote, promote it and put it your Instagram card. You're giving value. For example, you have a client that he sells bond sets. Um, I didn't know this, but bond size are... Very much, it's like a opener. <laughs> like there's a, there's like a thing for biosense, and people are really in. So they read newsletters, they read articles, they, they need, they see videos, uh, they watch videos. Sorry, part of this newsletter is giving value to them. So that's how they build in their with Also, the social media. Um, so, for example, this is a um, list building tactic that we used. This is a it's basically a, a projector for kids for kids' rooms that you can see the cosmos and things like that. So what we did is that we added a, a QR code and created an exclusive playlist for this. So when they are when they have this on, they feel like in the cosmos, right? So it's just a literally just a label that we put on top and it wraps the gift around. Like it's like a it's like an opening thing for the for the itself. Right. So this is another idea. It doesn't just have to be a car, like Kevin said. It has to be something at least interesting. I'll show you uh, more in a bit. For example, this one for this packaging, it was a peel off. So this is the, having that question in the background, like what type of candy is, is, is never on time? It leaves them wondering. And most likely, most of them are going to open that. Um, or they're going to feel it to find the answer if they don't know it. Okay. All right. So let's keep going. Um, gift cards. So for example, this product is a saturated kit for uh, medic medicine students, um, people who want to learn, except once you use this, it's done. If you use it so many times, it's you, you're you going to need more replacements of, of the skin to learn how to suture, right? So what we did is we added a scratch off. So we are, we're, we could just put it a, a regular card inside and they're like, oh, okay, I have this. But adding that little extra step, which is scratch to win, gives them the incentives because you will love them. So add that little more value it's going to go a long, long way. Plus, you got to differentiate yourself from your competition, all right? Um, this is, for me, the best strategy uh, up to date, which is a an app, okay? Why? It's also going to depend on the type of product you have. But why the app? Because the app, you're always going to have them there. There's nothing more intimate right now, technology-wise, than phone for a human. It literally holds our work, our life, our secrets, our laughs, like if you leave your house without your phone, most likely you're going to return back home just to get your phone because it's literally that third arm that we don't have. So by having that, you have so much access to, to that particular buyer. For example, um, this is a QR, um, an app that it's going to help you, you know, work out and it's going to give you a workout. Uh, it's a workout app, right? This is the one I'm using for to get ready to, for BDSS in, in Hawaii soon. Cash. I'm kidding. I don't have a six pack. So this app is going to help you that. And there that you can promote also other types of product. For example, I have another app 
which is a, um, a scale. I bought a scale, and that scale helps you track your weight through the app. Through the app, sometimes I get push notifications, which is, hey, we just launched this product. Would you like to look into it? Or, hey, uh, we saw that you're, you're hitting your fitness goal. We have this new product that can help you reach those fitness goals, et cetera. So there, you're going to give a lot more value. And what are they doing? They're just cross-promoting. They're cross-selling. So that's, that's, I mean, I think that's brilliant. All right. So you need more ideas? No worries. We got you covered. For example, this pottery wheel. This is a, this is a lot of how-tos because a lot of what we found out, and this is where data comes into play big time, knowing the product and knowing the buyer persona, right? So we knew that after research and after doing all the research that we do, we found out that this is people who buy this pottery wheel are people who are starting or have an interest in, in pottery. So what we did is that, okay, they want this, let's give them something extra. Not just, you know, the insert card, which is like, hey, quick start guy, cool. But do you want to take it to the next level? You know, uh, scan this to get a tutorial on how to do these types of, of pots or these types of shapes, right? Um, also, it can work for any type of industry. For example, this in type of products. For example, this does have a box. It's just a bot, okay, that it sells with a poly bag around, right? So what we did is that for them to open this package, this is, again, we don't want them to like make them force that they have to like, oh my God, I have to like break this open to, no, this is actually a super light, but it's on towel. We just wanted to see it. Why? Because we understood that this cream was a cream that is, um, depending on the time of day you put it, it's got, it's got to increase the effects or it's going to increase, not the effects, it's going to increase the performance of the cream. So how to apply it's very, very important. So scan this code for more information. Where we go there, they take it to a video. Again, a wall, which in that drive is going to grab, um, it's going to grab information from, all right? Another one. This is a product a bit more um, pricey. So depending on the price point as well, warranties. So most likely, I want a warranty for this than for a dial like unless it's like golden garlic press made, I don't know, in the Amazon, right? But if it's not, um, it's a normal garlic press, 10 bucks. Do I really need a warranty for a garlic press? Or do I w want a warranty for this external power source, which is like 300 bucks? Most likely you get. So, hey, scan this short code and you'll get your warranty. So that's why depending on the product, knowing your buyer persona, okay? Depending on the product and knowing your buyer persona, it's so, so important. Um, so that adjust, that insert, not just like Kevin said, it's not just like everything in life. You go to the gyms once a day. Oh yeah, you might, you know, stay fit or, you know, balance it out. But if you really want to get those, those apps, then you really have to like give that value to that gym and to your body. It's the same, same thing. You just have to put in the work, understand the buyer persona, understand the product from there. You cater or you create a unique, um, type of product insert. Also, you also need a little bit of creativity, obviously. Uh, for example, the, the scratch-off type of situation or this one that we didn't know what word put it in. And we're like, oh, you know what? Let's just wrap it around. Somewhere that they have to see it. Because sometimes when you open a packet, you just open it and you guard the insert card a lot of times. I've done a lot of it. So let's put it somewhere that they have to see it and they see the value from, right? And remember, one step at a time, um, it's a... Uh, Depending on your level of being a, a seller, uh, you know, if you're in stage one and you just launch a product, focus on reviews. If you want to do everything at the same time, great. But if not, if you want to take it step by step, focus on reviews, then focus on repurchase marketing, and then build an alert. All right. But this is a must. In the end, if you want to build a brand, building a list is a must. Um, another thing, if your package is, you don't want to create it in any way possible, like, you know, um, Maybe you don't want to destroy like, or interrupt this opening process. You can add it to a label, like the top, because you all know that uh, it can only be a sticker, for example. Every bottle, or not every bottle, most of the bottles have a seal, right? So if they have a seal, why not put it there? They either way have to open it up. So why not put your discount or give them that value there? For example, these are supplements. Hey, next bottle, you get 50% off. If I like them, I'm going to use that 50% off coupon, 100%. So another thing that you could be doing, which I love this one, is A-B testing. Marketing, just like life, is not one plus one equals two. Marketing is just trial and error, trial and error. Obviously, 
you're spending a bunch of money, you're investing a bunch of money into your future. So you want to mitigate that fail as much as possible. For example, when we're doing Kevin's uh, videos and, and for the Joe Shark, we ran like 100 pixel tests. We were actually the, the company that ran the most pixel tests. Why? Because we want to mitigate the most amount of errors as possible. We didn't come out of the, of the studio and we're like, oh, let's just create this. It's going to be a win. No, we tried it out a lot of So what you could do is in your packages, you have two QR codes and see which one converts the more, the most. And then on your product again. Um, and, you know, get creative. Get creative as possible. I just showed you a bunch of ideas so you can guys um, duplicate as well. Stickers, scratch off. Uh, I saw one that it was like a, a it was like a credit card that was used a lot right now. So you can use that one if you want to be keep it simple. And that's it. Um, for overachievers, make sure that you you you're targeting your your you are evaluating your KPIs. So repeat purchase the metrics. Are they buying this again? Is this working? Is that working? Brand loyalty metrics. Are they going back? Are they not buying back? Off Amazon influence. Amazon distribution. Advertising on sales, percentage of off Amazon sales. For example, Kevin gets a lot of off Amazon sales because he has that list, right? And that is it. I try to do it as fast as possible for the for the questions. Hope how I hope we have time. We do. Awesome, that, awesome. That, that was good. Good stuff, uh, Rafael. All right, I yeah, want thank you I for want this. to do something real quick before we get into answering specific questions. I want everybody that's on this webinar. If you're doing something else right now, stop. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop checking your phone. Come and listen to what I'm about to say. Everybody put their pencil down because I'm seeing this in the comments. There's, I'm going okay. to make, make a statement here. Everybody show their hands. Uh, pay attention. You absolutely, positively can send people out of the Amazon ecosystem. Okay? You do. You can put your social media links you can put a link to your website. Uh, you can do that. Quit falling for the misinformation that's all over Facebook that people are talking out their ass that don't know what they're talking about are doing. Quit it. Quit spreading this stuff. I see this in the chat and it pisses me off because you're wrong. And this is one of the reasons I created Freedom Ticket back in 2017 when Manny and Coates came to me and said, hey, do you want to create Freedom Ticket? One of the reasons I did is there's so mis much misinformation out there. Quit falling for it. You can absolutely do it. There's certain things you cannot do. Raphael showed you that. Bradley just posted in there like, you don't want to send people over, you know, go buy this on Target instead or some Amazon's competition. But if you're going to create an app, that's a brilliant thing. You can create apps with no code software now, with AI. You don't even have to be a programmer. You can go and create a basic, a very basic app and say, it's a great lead magnet. Download this app. You know, he, he showed the example of the one that's uh, for, for monitoring your weight, um, which is probably a little bit more elaborate. But you can create a very simple little app. People are more likely to download a cool app that goes with their product than they are. Um, you know, if I'm doing dog treats, I could do a dog training app. You know, it's got a few videos embedded in it. And it's a great lead magnet. You can send people off. What you cannot do is anything around reviews or influencing reviews. Or, or something like that, but you can send people off. You can capture information. Just don't do anything that would hint at influencing reviews. So that means putting five stars. That means saying leave us a reviews and then putting five stars under it to influence to say kind of in imply that you want five stars to say if you have a problem, contact us. Otherwise, go leave a review on Amazon. Uh, don't do anything. Don't offer a discounts if you leave us a review or if you do that, I'll give you a coupon. Don't do anything like that to incentivize reviews. On Amazon, that you cannot do, and don't don't even do it on your own website, just so that there's no gray area there. Um, but I, you can send people off, and they can buy things on your website too. Um, okay, so I want to get that straight. Okay, so quit falling for the misinformation. Quit. Anh chị đang bán hàng trên Amazon. Skybox cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi như đăng ký brand với USBTO, từ Helium Pen, từ Jungle Scout, Logistics và Warehouse. Xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé.